Researchers at Michigan Technological University released the findings of a study last week which sought to find evidence indicating that time travellers had left traces of their presence on the internet. Some of you might remember the story of John Titor, about which a major movie is coming out later this year, a self-proclaimed time traveller from the year 2036, who began posting on message boards back in the year 2000, going into intricate scientific details about the technological explanations of time travel, while making doomsday predictions about the near future, almost all of which turned out to be wrong. But the spirit of John Titor can undoubtedly be seen in the work of Robert Nemiroff and Teresa Wilson, who argue that time travellers from the future, be they human or aliens, would have left some trace of their interaction with our timeline on the internet. In their research paper, Searching the Internet for Evidence of Time Travellers, Wilson and Nemiroff trawled through search logs on NASA's website to find out if anyone had searched for Comet Ison before it had been discovered. They also searched Twitter for evidence that anyone had predicted future events, such as the election of Pope Francis. A third method employed by the researchers was to ask prospective time travellers to contact them and then prove that such a communication had been sent before the researchers made the original plea. Perhaps unsurprisingly, given the consensus that time travel is impossible, the researchers found no evidence that any information had been sent back in time from the future. While experts have asserted that travelling forward in time is conceivable, travelling to the past is scientifically impossible, at least according to our current understanding. So either time travellers have been very disciplined in not revealing themselves on the internet, or for the trillions of years that the universe has ahead of it, time travel, at least travelling to the past, was never perfected. This of course rests on the notion that time itself is real, and not just another mirage of a projected virtual reality holographic universe which is a subject for another video. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.